Hello everybody, my name is Dratnos and welcome to the first of many Great Vault videos here in the War Within. So, uh, this week we had a little bit of a weird Great Vault where there's mostly just Delve stuff and Heroic Raid from these different sources. So, uh, we're going to be looking at possibly taking a socket out of this vault. I already have four piece on this character, um, so, because we do splits, the only things that I would really take over a socket, like I wouldn't even take a weapon, I already have a Heroic Weapon. Possibly jewelry, but even that I can get from M+. Uh, so it would be a good trinket, like uh, the trinket from the last boss, or one of the very rare items would be the main one that I would take over a socket. All right, so there's hero track shoulder. I do have champion track there, so this would be an upgrade in that slot. Uh, treacherous transmitter, a good trinket, but not really one for me. Pants, tier pants. This is the worst slot, I'd say, for Druid, because it doesn't have haste on it. Uh, we have a hero track ring and gloves. And then this reinforced wax plating, an interesting delve trinket, but I don't think a good one. So I'm pretty sure this is going to end up being a socket. I'm not going to actually take it just yet, but because I don't even have anything to put the socket into. I guess I have hero track helmet, but I probably will try and wait for a myth track piece to put that socket into. I think that's going to be the choice on this. That's my main probably this tier is going to be the druid. Okay, up next we've got my monk. So this character also is very geared. Actually, I did a lot of PvP gearing early in last week. Uh, to get 610 crafted stuff. Uh, so this character has a bunch of 610 socketed PvP pieces. Um, what we're looking for on the vault for this thing, I mean, there's a chance that I'd play this this tier. I, I'll play probably either Bear or Druid, um, depending on which raid buff we want to fill with the tank roll. Yeah, this character actually has one of those wax platings from a Delve map. So I guess a good trinket, uh, like the first boss trinket on Heroic would be pretty nice. Could end up taking a socket on this guy too, though. Uh, we've got ooh, the Abyssal Trap, another wax plating as well. Uh, a Leech Necklace is Haste Mastery, though. Not particularly good Brewmaster stats. Uh, Tier Helmet, Hero Track. Okay, that could potentially be pretty good. No very rare items from the raid, unfortunately, and a one-hander, which we aren't super interested in. So, yeah, Tier Helmet could potentially be worth taking if I do want it. The thing is, if I want to use this character, we can probably give it Tier. Uh, we have enough you know, characters with tier already that we could run something and, and give this thing tier. So this may also be a socket. Either way, it's definitely not a pick right now. Angle. Uh, okay, then we have my DK. This character also... We, we did three splits this time around because we had Heroic Week, so there was kind of not much else to do last week. Uh, we raid, We could have just raided fewer days, and we did end up still finishing with the day to spare, so... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's kind of a weird thing. I don't think we'll necessarily do it in future tiers, but just because there was a heroic week this time, we did do a third split. I'm pretty happy about the decision because the gear is definitely valuable. It's definitely nice to get an extra set of gear. But yeah, you can see my DK also did a bunch of PvP stuff. Got PvP socketed uh, bracers and belt. They're both pretty nice. And then actually some boots as well that I ended up getting crafted. So this character also has four piece. This character only has four piece because we got so much dreadful tier that we had extras. So uh, I got two of them and the AOTC token and the uh, catalyst got me four piece. Another treacherous transmitter. Again, not sure that's something that I want. Uh, Hero track haste verse helmet. Haste verse actually no longer good stats for blood decay. Used to be, not anymore because now the death strike change makes haste a lot ickier. Uh, a hero track, indestructible chess piece. Indestructible is my bis, but uh, not needing that right now. Ooh, hero track, quick, quick candlestick. That is potentially really good for uh, some specs as DPS. I don't know if that's good for tank, but uh, it's rare to be able to get a hero track delve trinket, right? You have to get it from either your vault or from maps. Uh, and then item levels in other slots. I guess this is tier shoulders as well, so that would save me a catalyst charge eventually. I'm probably going to end up taking the quick, quick candlestick on this guy just because that's cool, but also not going to take that yet. I will link it in guild and type wow in case anybody else wanted it. Okay, a couple other characters. I did do a little bit of content, so th those were my three characters I played a lot of last week. And then I have three characters I did a little bit of content on each, uh, which is going to translate into a little bit of content for you in this video. Up first in that set is my warrior. I did... Uh, Hyveza, Silken Court, and Anserek on this character, normal. And then I also did one delve? Maybe 
Maybe I didn't do any delves on this guy. I don't know. Let's see. I don't like how far back the Great Vault is, this expansion. Last expansion, it was right in the door. This time, there's so much walking to do. Yeah, loot spec prot, that's probably fine. Okay, I did do, yeah, an avoidance. Swarm Lord's Authority. They did buff the Shrink it. I think it's probably still not very good, but probably better than my Darkmoon deck, maybe. Actually, I have uh, maybe even buzz buff, it's about the same, but... Wow, my first completion of this Great Vault quest is going to be on this character as well, because the other three just all didn't take anything. Turn that in, it's just gold. I guess it's just marked as an important quest, because it, it shows you an important feature. Not because it has an important reward. Okay, my DH did the first five bosses of normal, and then I'm holding on to a lockout at Kaibeza, uh, so that we can use that if we need to. And then I've also done... I don't think I did any delves on this guy, so I think it's just going to be three or two Great Vaults from Normal Raid that we're looking at here. So not too much that would be good. One of the very rares could be cool. Is this the bank? I think it is. Yeah, it is. Okay, I don't know why I thought it wasn't the bank for a second. Now let's see what we got in this vault. Could be a necklace. Very rare necklace from Sikran Champion Track. Okay, we got two pieces of tier. Uh, so we're looking at either shoulders or gloves. Shoulders are indestructible, though, so it's got to be those for sure. It's also a bigger itemable upgrade. Also, these are haste verse. That's good for vengeance still. Haste is still good for vengeance, so yeah, we'll just grab that. There's an argument for waiting, but I'm probably not going to use this character for anything. I want my dopamine to take my item. Uh, and then we have my paladin. My paladin, I think, did do two delves, maybe. So I think I've got a delve slot in my vaults here. Yeah, what's going to happen after Prague is I'm going to have a few rats that are just opening Delve vaults, probably. Uh, but this is going to be our first preview of what that might look like. Yeah, I think I did do one Delve and I got this Champ Track gloves. Oh, I also... No, I did another Delve because I got these Champ Track... Yeah, gloves and shield. Okay. Here we go. Probably a big one-hander. Or maybe, uh, maybe that candlestick again. That thing is kind of cool. And kindled locket. I mean, a 616 necklace, haste mastery. Haste mastery seems pretty bis for prop alley still. That's yeah, hard to imagine this being bad. Pretty happy with that for, you know, for a one vault delve, one row delve vault. Pretty happy. But yeah, that's it for this week's great vault video. Hope you've enjoyed. Hope your vaults were good. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.